All right, I'd ask everyone to uh, take their seats so we can uh, get started again. The final item we have today is item um, one, which is an informational presentation from the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California regarding planned fluoridation of imported treated water. Good morning, Mr. President, members. My name is Edgar Dimely. I was just stated uh, I'm a staff member with Metropolitan's uh, Water Quality Section, and uh, part of my responsibilities has been to help our member agencies and their retail agencies implement our uh, drinking water fluoridation program. Uh, on f February uh, of 2003, as uh, most of you know, Metropolitan's Board of Directors adopted a policy to fluoridate its, uh, its treated water supplies. Essentially what that meant was they directed staff to move forward with the uh, design, um, construction, uh, and installation of facilities to fluoridate at our five treatment plants. Uh, not long after that, Metropolitan was uh, granted uh, the amount of money at the time to design our fluoridate, uh, the estimated amount to fluoridate at our uh, facilities. We were given approximately $5.5 million for the planning, design, and purchase of those facilities uh, from a group uh, uh, that's uh, detailed uh, um, uh, below there. Uh, uh, you will hear reference to the operation and maintenance cost. And just uh, to take it off the table, Metropolitan is, is paying for that. Uh, that uh, is not being offered to us. Uh, that is not part of the $5.5 million in capital costs that we receive. The O&M cost is being paid for by Metropolitan. Um, I'm going to now transition into some of the outreach issues that I think you might be interested in. Uh, again, uh, part of our, uh, our job now is to make our message consistent. Uh, we not only supply water to the San Diego County area, but also to our rest of our service area over a six county service area. And it's important that the message that we say here in San Diego is consistent with the other portions of our service area. And we've been working with our member agencies and their retail customers in refining that message so all of our customers hear the same thing. Uh, we're also providing support to our member agencies and sharing information, news inquiries, et cetera, uh, uh, public inquiries, again, so that uh, when we go online in October, uh, that all of our customers and their member agencies are hearing the same thing. Uh, and again, the, the attempt there is to minimize the amount of misinformation uh, that's out there and quickly counter critics and uh, uh, others who uh, uh, have had issue with this practice. And then, and then the question is for Matt um, on the uh, cost to fluoridate at your water treatment, at your treatment plants. Um, what is the estimated cost to fluoridate your supplies per acre foot of water treated? Um, I will, I will quote a, 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 uh, an estimate because uh, we can't give the exact cost because we haven't started fluoridating. We have, uh, we have some estimates that have been done over the years, mm -hmm. but the, the number I've been quoting, and it's a, it, again, it's an estimate, it's a range, it's slightly less than $2 an acre foot. Okay, so your cost per acre foot is slightly less the, than, the, than the, $2. The, the okay. estimated operation and maintenance cost, yes. All right. And so as part of that, the, when, when the County Water Authority purchases water from you, um, do you or will you um, increase your costs per acre foot of water to offset the cost that you will be using for the fluoridation of our water? Um, it, it's, my, it's my understanding, and I'm not a rate structure expert, we can get one, but we have certain uh, components of our treatment and uh, the normal cost of treating water is part of that structure. This is, is, is viewed as part of that normal cost. We do other treatment. We use other treatment uh, techniques like ozone, uh, chlorine, right. other additives. And this is part of that, that quote-unquote treatment cost. Right, I understand it's part of but that But to specifically cost. answer yeah. your question, that cost will not be passed along to the County Water Authority or to any of our 26 member agencies. It's incorporated as part of our normal treatment cost. So there's no addition, you say that there's an additional cost to treat the water, but that you're just going to absorb those costs. That's, that, and that's so there correct. will be no increased costs to County Water Authority for any of your treatment. 
In other words, the, the costs of treating the water are not going to be increasing by MET at all. And, and, and I'm for trying your treatment costs, right? When, when we go online with this, the County Water Authority will not see a incremental increase as a result of our startup. It's again, it's incorporated as part of our normal treatment costs. So in fact, there will be increased costs because the cost of your treatment will go up and as the cost of water treatment go up, those costs will be passed on to MET or on to County Water Authority. And, and I want to be careful not to be misquoted or mischaracterized. Uh, I'm just trying to understand if there's an increased cost for treating. There, there is a cost associated with this. And as okay. I mentioned, the approximate cost is right. about $2. Per uh, acre per foot. Per acre foot. But again, that's as part of our, we have other treatment costs. And when chemicals right. go up, that cost goes up as well. And okay. It's, okay. So if you had to add chemicals, and the cost of the chemicals are uh, roughly two dollars per acre foot. Then right. my guess is your treatment costs for the water treatment go up. That's correct. All right. Simple. Thank you. We'll call on public speakers. Jeff Green. Um, yes, my name is Jeff Green. I'm the national director for Citizens for Safe Drinking Water, and I appreciate the breakdown so that we can see how you've broken it down. It appears to be that you're actually talking about a cost of water that comes from Metropolitan Water District. And it may be that you are not adding any additional costs for fluoridation in there on your portion. And I would I recognize that that probably would not happen. However, uh, the reported amount of money that was provided by the California Endowment and or through the California Dental Association Foundation that went to Metropolitan Water District for fluoridation was logged in at supposedly $5 million, which was supposed to have taken care of the costs of the capital improvements. However, uh, reports from staff on Metropolitan Water District is that they've incurred something more than $15 million in costs in sump pump uh, systems and other things like this. So we have a concern that despite the fact that I'm not doubting the fact that the San Diego County Water Authority is adding a certain portion in there, uh, it's our belief that there is money that is part of the increase that costs from uh, Metropolitan Water District. And we would, in, in due time within this week, uh, provide constructive notice with evidence of that from our perspective for you to evaluate and determine whether that's accurate or not. Okay, thank you. The people of San Diego are being charged for the addition of hydrofluorosilicic acid to the public drinking water in violation of our city ordinance and the California Proposition 218. In fact, even the mandatory fluoridation bill, AB 733, does not require you to buy hydrofluorosilicic acid for your water. What are you going to do about it?